All right, just one thing. If you were able to do just one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? My book, OEM Principles of Lean Thinking, there's a preface. I want you to read it because I'm going to take you through the book. And I always say, you know, stick to one thing. What is your, your purpose? What is your one goal? What is the one thing? So as we went to Japan in 2015, we asked everybody on the bus at the end of the day, what's the one thing you learned? And you have to know that if you were to say lean is about one word, what is that one word? What would you come up with? Think about it and then listen to Paul Akers as he reveals what the one thing lean is in one word. Speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> it's never happened before. Yeah. Somebody no. get that on tape, please. Yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it. No problem. <laughs> I'm just playing around. So uh, the one thing that, well, many things stick out, but the one thing was your comment about what is Japan all about. When you said quality, I've been reflective all day about that. And when you see this amazing society that's uh, been brought up from the rubble of World War II, to be one of the most, the most high tech and advanced manufacturing companies in the world, not one, but the, and I realize they did it all based on Deming's quality, at least that's my understanding. It brings an entirely new definition of what quality is all about in the lean model to me that I never fully understood till today. So here we go. We're going to talk a little bit about how the Toyota production system expanded to the rest of the world. And I want you to listen for quality. Where is quality built in? And I'd like you to write down some examples. The Toyota production system gained global attention after the oil crisis of 1973. Mm -hmm. Toyota recovered more quickly than other automakers from the crisis. And its production system received much of the credit for that resilience. General Motors Corporation approached Toyota about setting up a joint venture to make small cars in the United States. The two companies set up New United Motor Manufacturing Incorporated in California in 1984. Differences in language and culture presented big challenges, but the spirit of making things well knows no borders. People accepted the Toyota production system, and the Toyota GM joint venture became the highest ranked automobile plant in the United States for quality. It became a symbol of successful industrial cooperation between Japan and the United States. A book published by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology hailed the Toyota production system as the machine that changed the world. Today, the Toyota production system has gained a worldwide following. Let's see how the system now operates in the world's most modern automobile plants. The trucks that deliver parts to the plants carry a variety of items in each load. That allows each truck to travel fully loaded, which minimizes trips and thus reduces traffic congestion. Forklifts carry the parts unloaded from the delivery trucks to racks alongside the assembly lines. When people on the assembly line use the parts, they remove the attached Kanban cards. The Kanban would get picked up regularly and sorted. The delivery truck drivers pick up the Kanban for their company or companies before leaving. Back at the supplier's plants, the Kanban become orders for withdrawing additional parts. Sorting arranges the Kanban according to area in the plant. Shipping personnel exchange the Kanban and empty boxes for full boxes.
production processes in the plant make additional parts only to replace parts that have been withdrawn. That prevents the wasteful buildup of inventories. When the shipping personnel have gathered a full truckload of parts, a truck carries the parts to the vehicle plant. Kanban thus linked Toyota plants with suppliers' plants, as well as linking the processes inside the Toyota plants. Just-in-time manufacturing minimizes inventories, eliminates waste, and maximizes productivity at all the plants that participate in the Toyota production system. Judoka Intelligent Automation also continues to play a big role in the system. On automated machining lines, numbered lamps light up to call attention immediately to any problems detected by sensors. On assembly lines, the employees themselves have devised countless Judoka measures to prevent defective work. So Sokichi's concept continues to prevent waste. The idea is to build quality assurance into every process, and it works. The foundation for the Toyota production system has been established by Sakichi's Jidoka Intelligent Automation and his son Kichido's Just-in-Time Manufacturing. Eiji Ono and others put those concepts to work systematically with the strong support of Eiji Toyota and his passion for manufacturing. The Toyota production system continues to evolve in response to changing needs and circumstances, but the fundamental concepts are eternal, including Toyota's commitment to continuing improvement in every phase of products and operations. Those concepts underlie a lasting contribution to enhancing the quality of life for people everywhere. How many examples did you hear of quality? And to my surprise as well, I, in 1994, heard that Kanban, when I was first introduced to Kanban, has only two rules. Number one, never pass on any known defect. That was easy. And number two, never produce unless you have a Kanban or a signal to produce. That was it. So it was very simple, but quality was built in immediately with Kanban systems.